welcome back to Sonic 3 Air. I'm Nicholas Cooney. Let's start. I stopped here last time because I didn't feel like dealing with sand ghosts. <laughs> yeah. My last brain cell told me he was gonna die if I didn't call it a part there, so that's why I stopped. Music in the zone is actually pretty good. The Leapster Didge, an educational toy of all things, had a great remix of it. Spin dashing up shit is always cool though, so I'm gonna give that. Dan Waterfalls make total sense. Oh, I see how it is. Tails can squeeze through there, but I'm too fat for that. Alright. This Batnik right here, do you consider this Batnik creative or lazy? The uh, sand robot right there. And a dark gray bunny came out of him because Sonic 1 palette changed things. Best set piece of this zone. Fuck the ghosts. Alright, I need a shield. I'd really like a shield. Hopefully I can get one. Flame shield! Yeah! Yeah, yes, yes. Alright, good. 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 Bubble shield? I guess it's better than nothing, but I actually liked having a flame shield here. Probably won't be super useful because this is Sandopolis zone. No, 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 damn it! Well, I died. Cool, I guess. Time to fight the Sand Golem. Hmm. Did Robotnik even make this thing, or was it already here on the island? I wonder. Yeah. Come on. Glad I kept the Sonic 3 alone themes because they're way better than the Sonic and Knuckles offerings by a lot. Yeah, so I'm just gonna probably cut the most of this fight. All you need to know the gimmick is that you gotta push him forward into this sand because he doesn't take hit points. You have to just hit his head, and then he regenerates, you know, blah blah blah. It's a unique boss fight, but it's uh kind of boring to watch, so I'm just gonna cut that part. I'm also going to cut most of this because, I mean, this is a whatever act, act two. Whoop! Damn it. Fuck, I wanted to see if it's possible to not open the ghost thing. Maybe not because I just touched it right now when I didn't need to. But, yeah. I'm just going to jump up here and see what's up here. Maybe something cool can be up here. Never know. I love the double jump with the- Oh, yeah, that's great! That's exactly the kind of thing I was looking for. So, I'll just take this one right here. Alright, so, as you know, these are way fucking harder than the regular, um, Chaos Emerald special stages, so if I don't win, it's not a big deal. I mean, sometimes I just don't. I remember I'd practice a lot when I had the, um, Sonic Classic Collection on DS. And apparently that game played better on 3DS and DSi than it did on original DS. The difference being that the special stages like this are were like at a higher frame rate or something. It sounds like bullshit, but who knows? I mean, I know Pokemon games and stuff had enhancements when you played on DSi or 3DS, but that seems weird that an emulator would do such a thing. Because it was Genesis DS, the... It was an official release by Sega, but that was a fan emulator. Why would it do- Anyway, I'm almost done. Alright, so there's only four more. Where are they? I gotta keep my eyes peeled. Find them. Oh shit, wait, did I pass them? Shit, 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 fuck. I don't want to accidentally bump into a red sphere and fucking ruin everything, like always. Alright, alright, that was close. Um... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Awesome, awesome, awesome. So yeah, I got that emerald now. The K or the super emerald that actually is emerald color. Green. Alrighty. That's pretty good. Ah, fuck off, ghost. You're getting cut. I am cutting these ghosts. But, yeah, I'm gonna get more shit. Ooh, extra life and ring. I'm gonna get more shit because I like collecting stuff. This is my favorite of the bonus stages that come from the, um, 
come from the star post, this is the best one. But, alright, we're finally out of here. Oh my god, yeah, fuck that ghost. Anyway, I don't care if I lose all my rings, we're just gonna jump Robotnik. Fuck you, Eggman! Fuck you, Egghead! One of the grossest insults I've ever heard Sonic call him, or rather read, was, um, the one time in my life that I bought an Archie Sonic comic, uh, I was at the store years ago, obviously, because Archie, um, they were selling, like, a little Archie Digest like they always do, it was Sonic Boom themed, and he's all like, why should we talk to you, Egg Stain? I'm like, ugh, that sounds so grody, man, what the fuck? But, yeah, this is, like, the best, uh, track in the game, or, well, the Sonic and Knuckles segment of the game. Like, this rivals Ice Cap, which is nice, because Ice Cap is ice, and this is, like, lava, so it's fire and ice. But it's not Sonic Boom fire and ice, thank god. But, yeah, Egg Stain is gross, and Sonic Boom was an interesting mistake, is the best thing I can say about it. Um, not much I can say about this, uh, zone other than that it's awesome. Yeah, music's great, like I said. I was so happy that they brought it back for Mania, and... Oh, hey, 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 yeah, this glitch still works. Yeah, so you probably noticed I sound a bit different, um... Now, like, halfway through the video, I decided, uh... Fucking Fillmore Wondershare is being a bitch right now. So, right now, you can't even adjust... One of the features you have is you can adjust pitch, which I don't do, but, uh, you can do that if you want. I like to just stick around sometimes and be like, oh, Spongebob, why? And it won't let me right now because it's fucking broken. I sent them an email because I'm like, this is horseshit, bro. Before, I was putting it off, but, like, I had to spend extra time editing the Transformers, Lego Transformers video I did recently because of it. But anyway, another Super Emerald is for me. Sonic got a Super Emerald. Uh, maybe I'll fix that or figure out a way to fix that, but I don't fucking care. Got another Super Emerald, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, that part is so awesome. Of like the Sonic 3 or the Sonic and Knuckles segment of this game, it's like that right there is like the best set piece. This one for like the Yeah, because for Sonic the Sonic 3 part, I think the most iconic or best part is probably maybe <sighs> Shit, I'm not sure. But anyway, this part is really cool. I always thought it was super slick, the way that after the Knuckles, like, drops you, uh, with the rock, that you come down here and you see the Death Egg and it actually does something before you're even there to try and stop you. And then... Yeah, yeah, no, I just really like this a lot. Um, they actually have a toggle for this, uh, Sonic 3 Air to change the amount of, uh, hits you need to kill the boss here, because it's not even a hard boss fight at all, it's just, like takes a long ass time, you know? Anyway, I'm probably gonna cut most of it because you get the idea. Uh, yes. So, yeah, Knuckles fight, um... I had some trouble with him, honestly. Uh, normally I don't, but... I don't know, I'm stuck in pretty hard. Probably because I'm like... I don't know, hot or something, it's like, gonna be summer. Also, um... Probably gonna take a while to upload this because I have some products that I'm gonna do soon that I'm really excited for. Uh, me and my friends are gonna get together and do Streets of Rage 4. Uh, it's gonna be really awesome. Me and the the crew are gonna have an awesome time. But yeah, Knuckles. The the sprites in this cutscene stuff, uh, that and uh, Knuckles getting electrocuted are really cool. Also, yeah, I didn't finish getting the Super Emeralds. I'll do that after I beat Death Egg. I'll just do that so I can go back to. Uh, Mushroom Hill and just keep trying again there. But yeah, even though it's just a cutscene, I don't care. I still, I still gotta put in the effort to try and make it look cooler. Tails, get out of the way! You're ruining the. <sighs> yeah, Tails was in the way. Sorry, but yeah, the animation of Knuckles falling is kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna head over to Sky Sanctuary, which is. Yeah, I think Sky Stinker was the only, uh, zone from Sonic 3 that's in Generations. I guess it's good that they picked one from, uh... Yeah, they picked they pick this one to use since it's from the Ed Knuckles segment, which means it represents both of them. 
Because some people are weird and try to split these two games, like, say that they're two different games, where it's like, nah, dude. Sonic & Knuckles is a glorified expansion pack to Sonic 3. Like, it doesn't really exist on its own as its own, like, it's not Sonic 4 or anything, like... Honestly, like, it's... Sonic CD is a game, this one, this one isn't, though. Like, uh, this one is, uh, again, just the where Sonic 3 left off. Like, this just is Sonic 3 Part 2. And then the, the release called Sonic the Dark 3 is just the first one part. Yeah, it's all one game. So I'm glad also that Sonic Origins is going to consider it all one game as it should be. That's always how it should have been. Anybody that doesn't consider them the same game is a freaking psychopath. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That, that's probably a harsh over-exaggeration, but they are, they are retarded or something. Okay, that's fucked up. But anyway, this hack all- or this, uh, thing also allows you to put the Sonic 1 music over this boss and the Sonic 2 music over the Sonic 2 boss, so I did because why not? It's a really cool throwback. It is also kind of, like, concerning, though, that already in Sonic 3 they're already doing Remember this? Remember this? You know? Alright, here's the next one. And I'm glad that they picked this one, because this one is a really interesting looking fight. It's not only is it easy for them to, like, have reuse, because, like, you know, this uses a lot less sprites than, say, like, the car or something, but it's a fun looking, like, thing with the little, like, balloons that come out. The little tiny balloons. Also, this is such a good-ass design, this Mecha Sonic, but it it's used really well in Super Mario Bros. Z. Anybody that remembers Mario Bros. Z remembers how fucking sick Mecha Sonic was, but in canon, Mecha Sonic is fucking lame as hell. Not as good as metal. Not by a long shot. But yeah, here we go. The the scoot though, the power scoot he's got is pretty cool. And the way he's shaded it looks he looks really cool, like to this day, like he almost damn like almost looks like he could be like on the 32X already. One of the best looking sprites in this game. But uh Yeah, and if you play Knuckles alone, he is the final boss of Knuckles' is the thing and he goes super, it's pretty cool. Here though, he's just a pushover, you know. Everything in Sonic really is, almost everything in Sonic is a pushover because it's just, oh, you know, just fucking get hit and then keep smashing into them. I mean, it's fun to, like, not get hit, too, but then the only difference between, the only difference between doing a no-damage Sonic boss fight and a letting yourself get hit so you can mash into them is the amount of time you save or not, you know? But yeah, I'll, uh, see you guys in the next part where we do Death Egg and Doomsday and stuff, and then, uh, like, uh, Try to collect all the super emeralds, but yeah, have a good night. Sorry I took so long to upload this in case I did. Bye.